A new head coach normally means a new playbook, and for the Cal Poly football team, that is the case. A lack of spring ball also means a lack of an in-person, hands-on installation of that new scheme. But the players and the coaching staff are not getting discouraged. Football will come, but there's a lot more important things that are happening in the world that need to be finished first, and then, uh, then we can start to have fun again. Mustang football is under the direction of new head coach Bo Baldwin. The inability to be with his players during the launch of his tenure at Cal Poly has been unfortunate, but his state of mind lines up with his players. It's not ideal, but I also pause for a second, think about people out there with, you know, serious stuff that are going through stuff, and I'm not going to feel sorry for us, you know, given that we still have, we're in a, still in a very positive situation. It's a weird time for everybody. It just really, most importantly, everybody stay safe because this whole thing going on is bigger than football. I've been mad for, I've been wanting to get out there on the field. I've been missing the field ever since last season, but you know, we got bigger problems ahead of, of, of us in the world. Hamler started at quarterback as a freshman in 2019. He's still working out with teammates and doing everything within his power to come back on the field at a high level, whenever that may be. Even our linemen, like we have a, a house our linemen stay at. They got weights set up over there. If we wanted to go down there, it's down the street. Yeah, it's love. So we don't have our own weight room, but it's ways to get stuff done if you want to. So just trying to stay up on, on top of all of that stuff, really. That. But just even staying in physical shape and staying on top of school, like that's going to be what really, because we'll need all of those stuff to incorporate us being successful in the fall. For Matt, the fourth and final Shotwell brother to play for Cal Poly's defense over the years, his eyes are on turning the program into a Big Sky contending championship team for years to come. Having that to be the last thing that I leave here would be awesome. This is just a little bump in the road, but I think when, fo when football season does come, you're going to see a totally different uh, football team than last. Baldwin's situation, taking the reins of a program during this pandemic, is less than convenient, but he's finding other ways to stay positive. Those are also the silver linings to all this, and I've found this spending time with family or going out and helping with something, you know, just whatever it might be, and we've all been a part of that. The biggest thing is just focusing on what, you know, what you have control of, and that's just what you do tomorrow, what we do with the rest of the day, what we do tomorrow, and that's all we can focus on.